Visitors to Koh Samui frequently make costly blunders that might potentially ruin their vacation. However, the island is a relatively safe place to travel to. And if you know what to watch out for, such errors may be easily avoided. Fortunately, the majority of these possible risks and scams are already quite well recognized. And to seasoned travelers, they might even seem obvious. Number 1. Not being careful at night. Samui is a fairly safe place to go out at night. But you should still use the same general caution that you would anywhere else. Going out at night requires vigilance because Samui is home to a small but persistent minority of pickpockets, drink spikers, and other crooks. And all it takes is one to spoil your evening. It's smart to keep your belongings covered and just carry the cash you'll need that night. Additionally, keep in mind that individuals become fairly hot-tempered after a few drinks. So it's better to avoid getting involved in any trouble and instead call the police because things can quickly spiral out of control. Number 2. Not preparing for the infamous jet ski scam. Jet ski scams frequently make the news, from Phuket to Pattaya to Samui. The scam is straightforward. After you've enjoyed 15 or 30 minutes at sea, the jet ski owner claims you've damaged his boat and must pay outrageous amounts of money to have it restored or he'll call the police. Simply choosing not to rent a jet ski is the best course of action. The first thing you should do if you absolutely can't resist the allure of having fun on a jet ski is to take as many pictures of the vehicle as you can, including up close views of any existing damage. If you do that, you might avoid getting conned by the operators when you get back to the beach. The next mistake is underestimating how dangerous the roads are. Driving might be a little unsafe in Samui and around Thailand. In fact, these roads are among the most hazardous in the entire globe. Samui's roads are also generally in bad shape as a result of the rise in the number of vehicles using them. And the tropical maritime environment, which during the off-season damages the road surfacing. However, for experienced drivers, driving in Samui may be a lot of fun. It only calls for greater caution and attention, especially if you rent a motorcycle. Makes sense to move slowly, especially at night. Above all, don't expect other drivers to act in the same way they would at home. Always be prepared for the unforeseen. Number 4. Not knowing how to use Samui taxis. Samui has two types of taxis, Songtheus, or pickup trucks converted into buses, and taxis with meters. In the first case, make sure the meter is always on and refuse to agree to the driver discussing a flat rate in advance. Say, meter calmly if they do quote a price or if they don't start the meter. If they continue to object, get out and hail another cab. Just bargain it down as low as you can because, unfortunately, this may not work late at night. When all taxis start utilizing fixed pricing, although Songtheus are less expensive than taxi meters, have a predefined itinerary and may not drive you exactly where you want to go. You shouldn't have to pay more than roughly 60 baht to travel by Song for you from Nathan on the west coast to Chiwang on the east coast. However, it is well known that some drivers charge visitors twice as much. The best course of action is to smile. Pay the fare. Note down the taxi's license plate number. Take a photo of the driver's license, then report the driver to the police. Because 120 baht is still a reasonable price and there is no way to stop this kind of overcharging. Be calm in any case. Last but not least. And this is what you should be more careful with. Ignoring potential creepy crawlies. Even though Koh Samui's infrastructure, roads, power, hospital, etc. has significantly improved. The island is still tropical and covered in thick foliage which provides shelter to a variety of insects and reptiles. Although it is unlikely, it is possible to come across a centipede, scorpion, or cobra while on vacation. Store your windows and doors shut to prevent any unauthorized visitors from entering your room. And if you store your shoes outside, make sure they are completely empty before putting them on. Samui is home to many mosquitoes, some of which are known to spread diseases like yellow fever, chicken gunya, and dengue. Don't forget to use a reliable repellent against mosquitoes, especially from 4 to 8 p.m. 
When the Aedes aegypti mosquito, the carrier of these fevers, is most active. Always remember to be keen family. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.